Campus Insiders was in Evanston when Northwestern football players took a historic vote on whether or not to unionize. But today, the movement had a setback. Ray Crawford here with our college sports business insider, Christy Dosh. And Christy, the National Labor Relations Board decided not to rule effectively, saying the players cannot unionize. What does this mean for the NCAA? It's a huge win for the NCAA and for Northwestern. It essentially means this issue is dead for now. There is no appeal process for this, so this decision will stand, and those student athletes are not employees. All right, so Kane Coulter, of course, led the effort to form a union at Northwestern. He responded on Twitter saying, disappointed by the NLRB ruling, but can't deny the positive changes that were brought about by athletes standing up. Proud of those guys. He continued later tweeting, NLRB says that even if college athletes are employees, still very strong evidence of that, uh, they are not taking jurisdiction, did not rule against. So, Christy, is there another path here? As Kane Coulter suggests, it may not be a completely closed issue to him in his mind, but do you think it's a dead issue, or is there another way to get there for unionization? Because the NLRB didn't say that student athletes are not employees. They simply said that they weren't going to exercise jurisdiction in this case. Essentially, it would do more harm than good at this point, but that doesn't mean that other student athletes couldn't file similar petitions in the future. All right, aid and attendance, paid travel for family members to bowl games. I certainly say that this Kane Coulter has brought a lot of things to the forefront players, uh, getting some big victories over the past year. Christy, thanks for the insight.